Back here now with news from Beacon Hill. The Senate announced they'll be taking up the subject of early education and care this week. 22 News State House reporter Ellen Fleming has more about the bill and how it could affect residents here in western Massachusetts. Anyone with a small child knows the prohibitive costs of child care. Well, the Senate is hoping to make care more accessible to families across the Commonwealth. According to a special legislative commission in 2022, the average annual price for child care is over 20 grand a year. This bill is hoping to take on those astronomical costs. The Early Ed Act will make the state's Commonwealth Cares for Children, or C3 grant program, permanent, expand the eligibility for the state's subsidies program, and create a career ladder for educators. Currently, subsidies are only available to households that have an income of 50 percent or less than the state's median income. This legislation would increase that eligibility to 85 percent, which is $124,000 for a family of four. Also, a focus of this bill is to address the child care workforce situation, which is seeing a shortage of workers. This bill would direct the Department of Early Education and Care to create a career ladder with recommended salaries. It would also make scholarship and loan forgiveness programs for early education permanent and direct the state to look into how to develop this workforce. There is also a carve out for the administration to complete a study to further look at how to incentivize or make employers partner with the state to expand access to affordable early education and care. Now the bill that the Senate put forward last week is similar to a bill that passed in the Senate in 2022. However, the legislation never made it through the House. The Senate plans to vote on this bill this coming Thursday. Working for you at the State House in Boston, Ellen Fleming, 22 News.